is it a big waste of money? Filling up the tank and taking off. Police say gas drive offs are a huge problem in West Dallas. It's the location. Lots of freeways nearby. Criminals hop off, fill up, and fly away. Tonight, though, the city says game on. Jenna Sachs is live with what they're doing there. Jenna. And the gas station behind me now actually sees drive offs on a weekly basis, and rarely is the person actually caught. Now, police hope a new ordinance will put an end to the problem altogether. Gas drive offs in West Dallas could soon be a problem of the past. Clerks at Poor Richard's gas station near Interstate 894 say they're a frequent target. Usually, when we do get drive offs and we call the cops, the cops usually won't really do anything anymore and we get scolded because it happens so often. Right now, prepay at the gas station is optional, but soon it will be mandatory. I think it's really great. The Common Council has approved an ordinance requiring prepayment for all fuel at West Dallas gas stations. There are about 25 gas stations in the city of West Dallas. A uh, majority of them already have prepay. The police department asked for the ordinance after its officers responded to about 600 drive offs between 2006 and 2011. Our officers are spending a lot of time on. on investigating a crime that really could be stopped really easily. Police will be sending letters to gas stations informing them of the change and that they need to comply by November 1st. At the mobile station on 76th and Lincoln, Steve Fredlick pays after filling his tank, perhaps for the last time in city boundaries. On the one hand, I don't like government intruding on my, you know, on how people operate, but then again, if the city of West Dallas isn't going to cover drive-offs and protect the businesses, you know, something has to be done. We spoke with several people as they were filling up their tanks today. Most say they don't really mind the change because they pay with a credit card at the pump anyway. Those who seem most bothered by it are those who pay with cash. They say it will be inconvenient to pay in advance when they don't know exactly how much it will cost to fill up their tank. Reporting live in West Dallas, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Well, you don't make it to the Super Bowl unless you know what you're doing.